We're getting in drag to photograph beautiful, lovely, and gorgeous bronzers. Woo! Hi, welcome back to the channel. And today we're doing something uncommon for YouTube makeup people, which is to get ready and do something. I noticed the big hole in the beauty world on YouTube is that everybody puts makeup on and then they turn off the cameras and wash it off and go to bed. But you know, we have a real life outside the studio. And today at Trixie Cosmetics, we're shooting a summer campaign for our beautiful, incredible, show-stopping, never before seen, bronzers. Well, I guess they've been seen, they came out last year, but we're shooting new pictures for them. So today I'm doing a super deep tan, super beachy California. My boyfriend sells bracelets in Santa Monica, sort of like bronze look. It's gonna be a little bit 60s, but a very lush and feminine and bronze and whew. I mean like not Donatella level tan, but, but like flirting with it. And I'm gonna show you guys how when I do these super tan, kind of 60s like Barbie looks, I do like my my super fake tan. Cause you guys, I'm like an NC 25 in real life. I'm very fair, but you can cheat the system and I'm gonna show you how. So before I get started, I'm gonna glue my brows down and we'll be right back. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the secret fantasies that I have when I do my little fake self tanning. So sometimes I use this L'Oreal Sublime Bronze. Sometimes I use this Neutrogena Build-A-Tan, but my favorite, which we're out of, is the Saint-Tropez Watermelon Gradual Tan because it doesn't smell like fake tanner. This one, yeah, this one smells like fake tanner. So this this is gradual, so this won't show up right away, but I swear to you, this will sit on my skin for like four or five hours, and then almost in 10 minutes, I'll blank and I will be tan. Because if you don't know, self-tanning products work by coloring the dead skin cells on the top of your skin. That's why they tell you, if you have a fake tan on, if you exfoliate too hard, you're gonna lose your tan. It's kind of gross to think about, you're just coloring your dead skin cells. This little bitch is sickening. This is Isle of Paradise, uh, vegan friendly, cruelty free. You can see mine has toured and it's rubbed off, but this is wild. This is how you get really tan. So I'm gonna show you guys a trick, okay? If you're gonna do self tanner, I'm gonna give you a trick. This is some lotion. This is the cake, bat cake butter from Sugar Rush. Put lotion on your hands first because it's gonna prevent your middle of your fingers and your palms from turning orange. So if you like moisturize your hands first, they won't absorb as much product. And this really works. I mean, you guys on TV and stuff, people are self tan, people are spray tanned to hell, to hell. When we're doing Queen of the Universe, Michelle Visage, whoever does her, she is tan. It is, um, I mean, it is whoo, tan. and But on camera, it really doesn't read that way. So especially on camera, you can get away with it more. In person, I'm gonna look a little insane, but. So I'm gonna take this Isle of Paradise, and mine leaks, they ruin everything. It goes on like a, like a foam. But do you see like that arm to this arm? Do you see the difference? But I want my body to get super tan before I do my face so I know what color to make my face to match my fake body. Newsflash, everything you drag is fake. There's a few things I do when I wanna look really tan. One of them is I'll wear a really light, light blonde hair. Another one is I'll wear a really light lip. Bronzy eyeshadows, there's a lot of tricks that I use where I don't have to get that tan, but on camera I look tanner. And also fake tan is great too because on tour, body makeup ruins my costumes, but fake tan has a little more life to it, a little more longevity and it doesn't necessarily come off on my costume. So we do fake tan a lot on tour. And today is like a photo shoot from the chest up. So I don't really care if, really care about doing the rest of my body per se. So I'm gonna do my hands. And I'll say, I mean, this is a cool product. It does look tan. It does feel like you have a film on, a film on your skin. It does feel a little gross. Like if, I couldn't imagine, let's say getting in bed with this on, it would feel, first of all, my sheets would turn brown. Second of all, it does feel like you have product on your body, but that's pretty, I mean, that's a better start than what it was. For the face, I like to use this Saint-Tropez Gradual Tan Tinted. It's, I just wanna warn you, it's a little shocking when it goes on. <laughs> now this is for drag, so I'm like, you know, I wouldn't go out in person like this, because it looks a little insane, especially in person. I look like I have barbecue sauce all over my face right now, but it's all gonna work. Just a good base color. Now when I put my foundation on, I'm, I know like, my skin's not perfect, but now this actual resting tone of my skin is a little closer to what it's gonna be. You know, this is also a fun pro tip. Wipe off your palms of your hands immediately. 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 Or they will turn orange. So you guys know I'm, I'm just so into these Makeup Forever foundations, these matte velvet ones. They're so good. They're so good. So I'm taking a little bit of this Y315 and Y505, and I'm gonna make kind of a new color for the day. Got my Trixie sponge here, Mixie Mattel. And in the lower planes of my face, I'm gonna use this color. What's funny is out of drag, I don't care much for the look of fake tan, but in drag, I really, lo I love that super, like, I just came from a spray tan look, because it looks so insane and fake and, and absurd. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're going big. 
I mean, I like to go a little deep in drag anyway because I highlight so much. So like once I put on the powder highlights and the white, my base lightens a lot in drag, especially in photos. Most of the powders I use have like a talc base, which which and like they kind of kick back a little bit. I'm gonna take some of the Y225 and that's what I'm gonna use to start highlighting. In drag, I'm never really afraid of looking stupid the whole time because drag is about looking stupid until the very last second. And even then, you probably look stupid. See that once you start adding, it all kind of evens out. Plus you guys, we're still gonna do body makeup over this. So like, it's gonna be, woo! I think it looks pretty nice. I'm gonna mix another color to do my forehead. I mean, it's a weird thing, right? Because we made these bronzers, if you don't know. We made these bronzers because I know that I have my real bronzer color, my middle of summer bronzer color, and then I usually want to highlight. And so that was the whole concept of these bronzers. Is what if we make a bronzer that people can use before, after, and during, let's say a vacation, you know? That was kind of the idea for the product. Cause I'm always changing. I'm going through changes. Speaking of, Kelly Osborne just texted. She's like, when am I gonna come on the channel? Would you guys like to see Kelly Osborne on the channel? I think we should. We have some great lilacs in our makeup line. We should have her on and do some beautiful lilac makeup. I love her, you guys. I was listening to her album. Is it Shut Up? I think that's the name of the album. With Cool Head and Come Dig Me Out. You guys, her music was great. It's all evening out, kids. So now I'm gonna take, this is my lightest shade. This is like a Y205. And again, I wanna go really tan today, but I almost want 80s tan where the highlight is still like, whew, you know. But you guys gotta remember my eyes go to this down to here. So when I'm hiding my cheekbone, I have to put it over here. I know it's kind of backwards, but if I highlight like I would in normal, that gets covered up anyway. I'm really lucky I have such a weird face, you guys. It's like, look how tiny my eyes are. And look how huge my face is. And I guess for drag, it's nice to have a giant face because you can do a lot. But out of drag, I really look like an Easter Island head. And that's okay. It looks like Squidward's house. So you see how we're still highlighting? This this super tan beginning look will all soften, you know. All right, best black liner ever, Prados Beauty. Such a good pen liner. Today's really bronzer focused, so I really want the eye to be simple. So I'm actually gonna go a little smaller than usual even. I have been living a little bit like as far as references, I've been looking at a lot of pictures of like Sharon Tate and Nancy Sinatra, and I really love that look, that like really graphic doll eye look. I can't really do it on myself because I don't look like Sharon Tate. I look like Matt Lucas. I look like Matt Lucas dressed up as Bridget Bardo. That's honestly what I look like in drag. And that's fine. You will have such a better time in drag if you just accept that you'll never really look that good. Looking good in drag is kind of so mainstream now. I honestly think, and this is like, you know, me predicting trend, but you guys, I'm a little psychic. Yeah, I am a little bit psychic. And I think that drag has gotten so polished and gorgeous that the next wave of young drag queens will be almost like gender again. It will be like aggressive, a very painted sort of any gender, sort of a little more theatrical. I think that drag will enter sort of its art pop era because it's been so high in production and glamorous for so long. And now like nice wigs and stuff are so accessible. Things are gonna get really dirty and weird again. I'm very excited for that. Cause you know, I got famous for being gorgeous. I'm gonna do, my lips are a little dry today. So I'm gonna take some of my bestie balm. This is in Judy. This is like the hot pink, but. I was thinking of what shadows in my collection I could use to do a really bronzy, simple look. And I was thinking of the one size quads. This is in Copper Cider. Look how perfect this is gonna be for like a really beachy, bronzy situation. So I grabbed this because I knew I could put on real quick and fast. And you know, I love lazy. I'm also gonna use smaller eye brushes than I normally do. Cause again, I want this to be small and this is maybe like a meism, but I usually pick the brush size based on how big I want the eye to be. And today I want tight. So I'm gonna use two smaller brushes here. So this color is called Figgy Pudding. I hate that name, but I love one size, so we'll let it go. But I've been thinking about this look all week. Honestly, the simpler the look, the more I think about it, because this is the type of look where details are gonna matter. And it has to live in a photo forever. So I'm trying to keep it really small. Do you see, I mean, honestly, normally this makeup would be about an inch higher. So I am trying to keep it a little slimmer than usual. And I think it's working. I'm gonna take some of Peace Out Poppy here and I'm gonna use, I love to use face powders to buff out the edges of shadows. It's so easy. Cause bronzer, you know, our bronzers are like a honestly sheer buildable coverage. So it's a great way to finish a shadow look. I'm gonna try to keep the white of the eye really small today. So normally I, sh I do like an angle, but today I'm gonna try to go straight in. Like I said, I want the eye smaller cause I really want the skin to be the focus. That is gonna look really nice. So I'm gonna do this to the other side and be right back. It's time to start doing some contouring here. I got my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation in Y50, and this is where the, the contouring will once begin again. So love these Trixie Heart Sponges because I'll use the big flat side to do the foundation, and then I'll use the edges 
to do my contouring because it's kind of thinner. I'm gonna do a lot of this contouring with my Flower Power Bronzer. So this is kind of just a, a base, you know? You guys, especially in photos, all bronzing and contouring and all that looks so much better when you do cream and powder, so much better. I remember, this is crazy. I remember the pageant dry queens that I used to work with, they would use a product called Plains Dust by Ben Nye, which is a really sooty, dirty, like muddy looking loose powder that's made for, let's say you're in a play about the Great Depression. You would put this on to look like you basically work at a coal mine or something. Like it looks like dirt on your face. Plains dust. And I know drag queens who would use it as contour, which is so crazy to think about. All right, I'm gonna go a little deeper in the pockets of the cheek. The pockets. Brandon makes not my voice. We're gonna go in the pocket. We're gonna marry it in the pocket. Do you see that? People I work with make fun of me to my face. I'm gonna marry the pockets. This is what Brandon says my voice sounds like. What do you guys think? Hey, we're just gonna do makeup. I'm gonna take one of the deeper shades present in this palette, and I'm just gonna do a little boop, 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 boop because I'm just kind of using the pigment and I'll blend it out. I'm gonna do a little bit of the darker foundation down the nose. Like I said, my new journey is to just paint the foundation on the nose and then draw the white worm. Oh, this nose is so crooked. This is me looking right at the camera. Look, that is so embarrassing. I have to redo this. That is humiliating. You guys, I need to get a nose job. Like, how many years am I gonna be on camera doing this and just living with the fact that my nose is completely, completely crooked? I have the perfect setting part of this. I'm obsessed with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana loose powder, so good, I just love it. I take the sifter out, I throw it right in the trash, and then I just go to town. Do you see how I really want it light, like under the eye, and this banana powder has such a nice warming look to it. I'm gonna have to darken it with a press powder, because again, I really want it to be light here and like nowhere else. Almost like I have big sunglasses on in the sun. So I like to take a giant fluffy brush. Do you see how rich that forehead is though? Like, do you see how bronzy it looks? Looks good. So it's time to feature the actual product that we are you know, featuring in the photo shoot today. Darling Daisy here is normally what I use out of drag. It's the lightest shade in the collection. This is probably at this stage in this drag makeup, a little light for me. So today I'm gonna graduate up to Peace Out Poppy. It has a little more pigment. I'm gonna be able to like change my face more. I'm gonna use our short handled big fluffy brush here for my forehead. So the great thing about our bronzers, if you don't know, you have two like satin matte shades and then you have a highlighter in the palette. So you can do your contouring and stuff without getting into your highlighter. Because my thing was always, why do I have to choose between a matte bronzer or a shimmer bronzer? Why can't it be something where I can make it in the moment? You could literally do your whole contouring bronzing situation and then at the end, go over to the highlighter. And that's what this was made to do. There was a channel, I, I sometimes creep on reviews of products because I want to know what people think. And there was a channel, I believe he's a makeup gentleman. He did like a Trixie look. I don't know if you guys remember this, but he did a review on this product and he was like, it's so brilliant. And he thought it was brilliant for the same reasons. And I have this thing where when somebody agrees with me, I think they're smart. So since he agreed with me, I was like, he really knows what he's talking about. Do a little bit down the jawline, keeping it toasty. So then I'm gonna take a little Trixie shadow brush in the deepest shade. And that's what I'm gonna use to start adding color here. Yes. You guys, my wig covers this area, but I, there's something in me that can't not put color there. I don't know why. I, it, maybe it's cause out of drag, I need to feel like the color goes on and on forever. And I normally do use a straight edge for this, but today, cause this is kind of skin focused, I'm trying not to have it be too carved for the photo. I kind of wanted a little more buff than that. Work! Now this is my other secret, secret, secret time. If you want to look a little bit tan and you don't necessarily want to go much deeper with your bronzers and stuff, one of my favorite tricks is orange blush. This is Mod About You. This is Plush Bunny. Now watch what I'm going to do with Plush Bunny. I'm going to blow your mind. So Plush Bunny, I'm going to use to marry, we're gonna marry it in the pocket, all the places here. Like, normally I'll only apply blush in one area, but if I'm doing like a bronzy 60s look, I'll use it in a lot more places. So I'll use it across the forehead, on the temples, because I think it just really adds warmth. Like, do you see how that looks more like a theatrical tan now? I'm gonna go a little heavier, because I really do want this to read super warm. Oh, bitch, do you see that? Do you see like, especially up here, it takes it from skin tone to like, just really, Really kind of sweet, caramely, pretty, right? I'm gonna go back into Darling Daisy, which is the lightest highlight. That's what I'm gonna use. Red here for highlight. See that, it's just in the corner. See that? Ah! Oh! Everybody can eat my ass. Look how nice that looks. I'm gonna do something unprecedented. I'm gonna take a little bit of Peace Out Poppy's highlighter and just go over it so it's not so, so fair. That is gorgeous. Do you see that? Ah! Oh! And I love using a small brush like this for precision. Cause these highlighters, man, the, the, the truth is highlighter can get out of control. Work, bitch. All right, now I'm gonna do something kind of crazy. I like to take a big fluffy duo fiber brush and I like to take a little bit of setting powder and just veil it so it doesn't 
look like it's sitting on top of the skin. So I'm gonna go do black and white liner. I'm kind of gonna do what I normally do and we'll be right back. So I think we can start doing body makeup. So I have a few different ideas here. I have the S19 Studio and Lab Super FX Sporty Makeup. This one is number five tan and this one's bronze. I believe this one's dewy, like shiny. And this one is matte. Isn't this disgusting? You guys just painting your body with makeup. It's so weird. Body makeup is so weird, you guys. But look at that arm compared to this arm. Do you know what I mean? This looks tan, but this looks perfect, you know? This makeup does smell good, though. This one specifically smells good. We just get my Adam's apple. Okay, yeah, that. This whole white area, not the fantasy. I wasn't as religious about self tanner as I should have been before this. So now we're painting on the tan, but you know, foundation in the armpits. It's cool. It's just, you don't realize how much body makeup you don't know about. Every time you see RuPaul, Every time you see any pop star, like people have body makeup on, you just don't think about it. And they say, I mean, all body makeup will say it's transfer, transfer proof or whatever. It's, it's like, girl, ask any Uber driver in LA if body makeup is transfer proof. They'll tell you. The back of their car is orange. Good thing I have a boyfriend. Cause like at this point, like a quick Google of me and people will be like, no f thank you, you weirdo. I'm trying to do my back cause I'm wearing a long blonde wig and I don't really want it sitting on body makeup. Do you know what I mean? So this is the Wet n Wild Soak It Up Rays Lilo and Stitch Body Luminizer. We might as well use it. We have it, we might as well use it. Now does, is it gonna take off the makeup though? That's my concern. Cause sometimes these kind of body luminizers remove makeup. Oh, not really. It smells so good. So we're at the home stretch here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this very light highlight powder and I know I said I didn't want to go too light, but I'm just going to do a little bit under the eye for dimension. You guys, I'm not going to lie. I look so pretty, except my tits hanging out. Oh my God. Nick, you weren't going to say anything. Yeah, you're not, you're like a, one of those people who's like, I'm a documentary person. I'm not supposed to interfere with the subject. And then I'm also going to like, I, I think we could use a little more depth here to be honest. So I'm going to take Free Love Freesia, which is one of the deepest ones here. So pretty, right? These chocolatey colors. And that's what I'm going to use just in the pockets of my cheek. We're going to marry it in the pocket. And then go really, really deep right there. You guys, I mean, this is for a photo and also I'm a cross dresser. This probably would look insane in real life. But with this hair, do you see how it kind of shadows it already? So I can go a little deeper back there. <gasps> oh, it looks so pretty. All right. So this is the look, the final look. Can you believe it? I mean, if we're gonna talk about the star, this look was built around this bronzer product. I love Flower Power Bronzer. I think it's genius, easy, easy to use, smart, cool, fun. Love the compact. Little matches my earrings. The highlighter looks great. Look at my highlighter, gorgeous. And I have to say some of my little secret weapons as a, a person who tours and wants to look even on stage, I love this Isle of Paradise product. I love these little S19 body bronzers. It's not the end of the video. Let's go uh, do some BTS while we shoot the bronzers and I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.